Over the past four years, we the people have seen the consequences of bad choices in our elected leaders. We have watched the per-person debt on this island more than double. And we watched as Adeloup pushed Guam to the edge of the financial cliff right behind Puerto Rico. In 2016, we elected a bunch of new senators that stopped Adeloup from pushing Guam over the cliff behind Puerto Rico. And now we get a chance to make a change in Adeloup. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm Ken Leon Guerrero, the spokesperson for Guam Citizens for Public Accountability. And for the past four years, I have been engaging with Adeloup in the legislature and different departments of government of Guam, fighting for the people of Guam. And now as we get ready to go into the 2018 elections, based on an analysis of the personalities, the teams, the platforms, here are our recommendations for Adeloup. Starting with the Republican side of the platform. And I have to admit, like so many of you, I was thoroughly disappointed that this was the only team the Republican Party put forward. It seems that the Republican Party has a very dim view of Republicans on this island. They think that uh, Republicans are like robots or zombies that will do the bidding of their lords and masters, the heads of the Republican Party, without question. Well, I'm here to say, thankfully here to say, that is not true. There are a great many good Republicans on this island. I tried to get some of them to run, but they all felt that without the backing of the Republican Party, it would be an exercise in futility. That's why we need to look very closely at what the Republican Party considers to be the best and brightest. And I give you Tenorio Atta. Now, the Tenorio Atta team right, out, right off the bat jumped out with their incredible College for All for Nothing program, starting with a pork barrel project there's no way they could deliver on. And then we have the infamous 2014 smash and grab at the public treasury, led by none other than the top of the, the ticket, Ray Tenorio himself. Ray Tenorio called the legislature into special session and ramrodded through a bill to give him, the governor, the senators, and their select followers massive retroactive pay raises at our expense. In fact, that pay raise was one of the things that pushed Guam into the dangerous financial situation we're in right now. And in an utter act of contempt, they rammed this through less than three weeks after they won their second term. That shows the contempt that Tenorio and Calvo have for the Guam voters. And I have to ask, why would they put somebody forward that is apparently as ignorant or dumb as Ray Tenorio? He had to know that these pay raises were going to come out and that he would be tagged with it. I don't understand why Calvo didn't push the pay raises through because he was term limited. He had nothing left to gain and nothing to lose, whereas Ray Tenorio had everything to lose. And the fact that Ray Tenorio pushed that pay raise through shows me that he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. And at the current situation we have facing government of Guam, the last thing we need is to have a dull fork in Adeloup. And part of the reason why Tenorio did it is he's so proud of saying he's a loyal soldier. Even the governor admits that Tenorio is a loyal soldier. He's so loyal that he picked the most expensive health insurance program, which benefited the governor's family, and cost taxpayers $21 million. 
He's so loyal that he gave the well politically well-connected insiders, including the governor's family, a thirty million dollar bonus over and above the land the price for the land of Lejeune. And what's really irritating about this, the Calvo Tenorio administration spent four years and millions of taxpayer dollars fighting against the district court order to pay taxes on time. But when this order came up, Tenorio didn't even hesitate. He couldn't sign the agreement fast enough to give millions of dollars to well-connected political insiders. And then on top of that, we have the uh, curious case of godfather-like behavior as businesses are being encouraged to donate money to the Tenorio Political Action Committee in exchange for contracts or keeping contracts, as we see with the DOC situation. And then, if that wasn't enough, the Glock Party. Here, the governor, lieutenant governor, pardon me, pulls a gun away from an officer in such a manner that he could have wounded or killed the officer or bystanders, and he dances away scot-free. That's not the kind of people we want leading our island up in Adeloup. The Republicans should be ashamed that they had such low uh, they have such a low opinion of the taxpayers and voters on Guam that they would put forward Tenorio Atta as the best possible Republican team to run this island. So for those of you voting on the Republican side of the ticket, the answer is obvious. Just say no. Don't even give them the courtesy of a vote. Let The empty ballots speak volumes to the leaders of the Republican Party that we are not going to vote for your blessed and appointed leaders unless you take the people into consideration and give us quality candidates to choose from.